Uh, I will start in English. It's a bit hard in this, this emotional moment to speak Swedish for me. Have any one of you experienced living at two places in one time? We Syrians have been suffering this since the beginning of our exile. We have been here in Sweden, Germany, Europa, the West, but at the same time, our thoughts, our minds are in Syria. Daily airstrikes in Syria, on the old cities, not only Aleppo, but Damascus, Hama, Hasake, Idlib. And demographical change is being practiced. People forced to flee their homes to, and be sent to another cities based on their ethnics and all of this supervised by the United Nations. Yesterday I was watching an interview with a member of the White Helmets, and who doesn't know who the White Helmets are, they are a civil defense group who are saving people's lives in Aleppo and Idlib and other cities in Syria. And the, they asked him, what do you think the people outside in the free world shall do to help you, to help Syrians? He answered, have you watched Hunger Games? Do you remember what people did in Hunger Games for the people besieged, for the people facing hunger? That's what you should do. We don't trust system, but we trust people can do change. People can affect and can practice pressure on their governments to make change. In such moments, while violence is spreading and hatred speech, speech is rising, we won't be blamed for the word we say. We will be blamed for the word that we could have said, but we didn't. And we don't want our children to blame us for the Holocaust in Syria now, as the Germans are now blaming their grandparents for the Holocaust happened 50 years ago. Aleppo. Aleppo is a name you hear in the news a lot, but what does that mean? The eastern side of Aleppo, the besieged side of Aleppo, contains 200,000 civilians with no food, no medication, humanitarian aid is being bombed by Assad and his allies, Russians and Iranians. The city is being bombed with thermobaric bombs and internationally prohibited weapons such as chemical weapons, such as phosphoric weapons, and many other mass destruction weapons. You saw the picture of the kid, Umran, and you suffered. Well, Umran was lucky, he survived. Hundreds of Syrian children and women are being killed in Aleppo. The Syrian regime has imported militias from Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Lebanon. Some of them considered as terrorists, such as Hezbollah and all of them are ethnically loyal to the head of the regime, Bashar al-Assad. The regime plan is to resettle those terrorists instead of the people of Aleppo. He wants to force them out of their homes to, to resettle new people there. And again, this plan is supervised by Mr. Stafan de Mistura, the special envoy for Syria and the United Nations. I think we, we all who stand here to show solidarity with Syria, we all hate terrorism. We hate it as much as Swedes do as the West does. But unfortunately I have to say we have suffered terrorism much more than you have done. Syrians and Iraqis are being killed by ISIS and other terrorist branches in Syria, much more than any other else in the world. It's happening on a daily basis. Journalists, artists, doctors, regular people are facing the, this terrorism. You think you can defeat them with airstrikes. We think we can defeat them by strip them from their public support. And there is only one way to do so. Justice. Terrorism could be defeated but not until the people in Aleppo and all other Syrian and Iraqi cities 
see the real criminals brought to justice, brought accountable. Many now think it's time to stop immigration. Syrians must go back to Syria. Okay, I'll tell you, we want that as much as they do. We want to go back to Syria, but first we need your help. We need your help to, grow, to bring these criminals to justice and establish a democratic transmission for power in Syria. It's a lie that we can do it alone. It's a lie that we can do it without your solidarity, with you pressing on your government, pressing on the international community to make it an act of change in Syria. I would like to thank you all for joining us today, for showing solidarity, for showing that you care for what's happening in Syria, and we will keep that going. Thank you all. Bravo!